Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to look at how to submit a Flipper Zero application into Apps Catalog. Once approved, your application will appear in lab.flipper.net slash apps and also on the mobile app. Let's get started. For this video, we'll continue using the environment we set up last week and the application we'll be submitting is the Genie Recorder. A quick review, last week we set up our environment with QFlipper, Get, VS Code, and our firmware. Then we cloned our project repo. For your application, you're gonna to wanna to clone your own GitHub repo. We created a symbolic link. And again, that link should point to the application you wanna to submit to the app catalog. And then we deployed our application to the Flipper Zero. I've opened Visual Studio Code, and under Applications User, you can see that Genie Recorder app. Next, we'll open our application.fam file, and we'll update the FAP version. My version is currently 3.0, so I'll increase that to 3.1. Whenever you're making changes, you should always update the FAP version. You should also update the FAP description. This text is used to describe your application. Next, you'll want to have a folder for your catalog data. This project already has a flipc.org gallery folder, so I'll use that. Right-click on Gallery and choose New File. Name this file changelog.md, and changelog is all caps, and md is lowercase. For version 3.0, we'll say it's the initial release without needing updated firmware. And then for version 3.1, we'll just say added to app catalog. Next, we'll right click on our readme and choose copy. And then in our gallery folder, we'll right click and choose paste. One thing I forgot to show earlier is in QFlipper, you can navigate in your application and then click save screenshot and then go ahead and save those screenshot images. The apps catalog requires that all screenshot images are saved using QFlipper. So now you should have a folder with your readme.md, your changelog.md, and all of your screenshots. We'll switch back to our application.fam, then go to Terminal, Run Task, and then choose Launch App on Flipper. Make sure your Flipper is plugged in and that QFlipper is not running. Once the app is launched, you can go ahead and open QFlipper. And then if we go down into About, we can see that we forgot to update the version. It currently says 3.0. So in this case, that text comes from our geniaabout.h, but your application may use a different way to populate the about information. Now that we fixed that bug, we'll do terminal, run task, launch app on Flipper. I just noticed in the output window, we're getting some purple and blue text for deprecated warnings. When an API is deprecated, it may not work in future builds. I'll go ahead and right click on View Dispatcher Enable Queue. You can see there's a line through it. And I'll choose Go to Definition. That's an empty method that's not doing anything. So we'll open the ViewDispatcher.h file and we'll look for the declaration. And we could have done a right click Go to Declaration instead. It says Do not use in new code. Remove all calls to it from existing code. Q support is now always enabled during construction. So it sounds like we can safely delete this line since it doesn't do anything anymore and it does the default behavior we want. We'll save our file and then terminal, run task, launch app on Flipper. And then make sure everything compiles correctly and that it still works on the Flipper Zero. One step I forgot in the previous video was get config dash dash global user.name and then your name and then get config dash dash global user.email and then your email. This step is needed so we can commit files back into GitHub. We're ready to push our application back into GitHub. So we'll go to file, new window, and then in our new Visual Studio code, we'll do a file open folder and we'll go into our repo and then our Flipper Zero tutorials and say open. On the left, we'll click on source control and then we'll review each of the changes and add them to our commit. So this was our change for the application version. And then our about has our new version text in the about box. This is removing that deprecated API. Our change log talks about version 3.1 adding to the app catalog. 
and then this is our readme. My comment is updates for App Store, and I'll go ahead and click the commit button. And then we'll do a sync changes to push our changes to GitHub. And then we'll click OK to confirm the sync. And then say allow for the sign in process. On GitHub, I click on my commits. And then I click on the latest commit. And then the URL has my get hash. One more change I made was to remove the underscore v3 from my app ID. Hopefully your app ID doesn't have version information. Next, we'll open the github.com Flipper Devices website, click on Repositories, and then choose Flipper Application Catalog. Click on the arrow dropdown for fork, and then choose Create a New Fork. This will create a Flipper Application Catalog in your GitHub. Go ahead and click that green Create Fork button. This will take a few moments, and then it'll load your GitHub site. Click the code dropdown, and then copy to clipboard the GitHub URL. Make sure your command window is in the repo folder, and then do a get space clone space and paste in that GitHub URL. In VS Code, do file new window, and then file open folder, choose repo, then flipper application catalog, and then open. Choose Yes, I Trust the Authors. For my application, I'm going to open Applications Subgigahertz, but choose the category for your application. I'll right click on Subgigahertz and choose New Folder, and then we'll name it Genie underscore Record. This needs to match your app ID name. On a different manifest, I'll right click and choose Copy, and then on Genie Record, I'll right click and choose Paste. So there's our manifest file. The origin should list the URL to your GitHub repository where your application is stored. In my case, it's Flipper Zero Tutorials. The commit SHA should match that ending of the URL for your last commit that you made to your application. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that URL and then we'll paste that SHA. Subdir should be the path to your application FAM file. If it's in the root, you can leave this as blank. In my case, it's subgigahertz app genie recorder. All of my files are under .flipc.org slash gallery. I'd recommend just putting them under slash gallery if you can. I don't think flipc.org is coming back anytime soon. We'll also change the path to our change log to that flipc.org gallery. Make sure the author is correct and then edit your screenshots. And that first screenshot is gonna be the thumbnail for your application in the app catalog. So I recommend um, that you think about what that first image is. Save your manifest, then in a command window, make sure you're in the repo folder, and then do CD Flipper Application Catalog, and this is your version of the Flipper Application Catalog. And then do cat documentation slash contributing and this document talks about all the steps you need to follow to submit your own application to the catalog. So first we'll do that Python 3 space dash M space VMV VEMV. And then we'll do our source VEMV bin slash activate. And then we'll do a PIP install dash R tools slash requirements dot text. If you got an error in that first step running Python 3, you may need to do sudo apt install python 3.12-vemv. We'll bring up those directions again. And now we're doing the export command. So export space ufbt underscore home equals backtick real path vemv slash ufbt backtick and then ufbt update. Now this final command will keep running over and over again until we get things working. This is python3 space tools slash bundle dot py space dash dash no lint space applications slash and then replace the category with your category like sub gigahertz. Replace the app ID with your application ID, like Genie Record, 
and then slash manifest.yml and then space bundle.zip. And what we're hoping for is the output having all information messages. Unfortunately, we got an error. It says markdown element backtick is not allowed. So in my readme, I need to update all those backticks to just use quotes. I'll go ahead and add my updated readme. I'll push it to GitHub and then I'll copy our SHA hash. We'll update our manifest with the new SHA hash, save the manifest, and then we'll rerun our Python validation to do the bundle.zip. We got another error. This time it's markdown element HTML is not allowed. So that's because my readme had image tags. So I'll go ahead and delete those image tags and the paragraph tags. And I'll also go ahead and update some of the text since the image is now missing. We'll add another commit message for removing the HTML from the readme. And then we'll add our file and say commit. And then we'll sync those changes to GitHub. Over in GitHub, we'll grab our latest SHA hash, and then we'll update the hash in our manifest file. And then we'll run the Python 3 bundler command again. Great news, we got bundle created and an information message. Next, we'll create our branch. So do get space checkout space dash b space your GitHub name slash the app ID underscore and the version number. Next, I'll do a get status to make sure that the changes are in my app ID. And then I'll do a get add dot and one more get status to make sure that picked up the manifest file. And then finally, a get commit space dash M. And then in quotes, I'll put a little comment about what the application is that I'm submitting. You could do all these steps in GitHub Desktop or in Visual Studio Code as well. Um, and then do a git push, and that'll give me an error message. And then I use the git push command that it displays. I haven't set up my credentials, so let's go ahead and use VS Code to push it. So we'll switch back to our Jameson Derek Genie Recorder and then say publish branch. Over in my GitHub repo, I'll open the Flipper application catalog, and then you should see a compare and pull request button. Make sure the title makes sense for your application. Describe your application for the reviewer. If your application has any hardware or software requirements, explain what those are and how they can do testing. Make sure you've read the document for the contributing guidelines and not just watch this video that you own the code and that you didn't get any errors for that validation. At this point, you're ready to click create pull request. Congratulations, you've submitted your application. Hopefully the reviewer will approve your application. If not, they may leave a comment and you can also leave comments back to them. Good news, our application was approved. I probably should have updated the screenshot with 3.1. And you can see that links also don't work in the readme. At the bottom is our change log and links to our manifest and repository. Now you know how to submit an application to the apps catalog. Please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Also, let me know if you want me to do a video on the Flipper app catalog action for GitHub. This significantly automates updates for your application.